Today, we are going to dive deep into the timeline in the Gabby Petito case. There is a lot of information, so I thought of putting it all together, based on their social media accounts, and other details released by law enforcement. Let's get into it. Brian and Gabby were high school sweethearts. It is said, that Brian was about 40 pounds heavier, and a loner back then. Brian and Gabby were together for about two years, before they decided to go on a cross-country road trip. They were both super excited about the road trip, and even converted Gabby's van, so that they could live in it. It seemed like the perfect plan, and Gabby quit her job, to travel with Brian Laundry. Her plan was to start a YouTube channel, and blog, about their van adventures, and that was going to be her source of income. On July 2nd, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry started their cross-country road trip, from Long Island, New York. It was a long drive, but on the 5th, they arrived at the Monument Rocks. This is also the point, where Gabby and Brian started posting pictures of their trip to their Instagram feed. The couple then headed to Colorado on the 8th, and ended up sandboarding in the Great Sand Dunes National Park on the 10th of July. There seemed to be all smiles and happiness, as the couple enjoyed their time on the sand dunes, and the 11th July was their last day in Colorado. The next stop for Gabby and Brian was Utah. On the agenda for July 17th, was Zion National Park. They hiked, and then headed back to their camp for the night. After Zion National Park, Brian, and Gabby, headed to Cedar Breaks, and then Bryce Canyon National Park. This was around the 21st July. By the 30th of July, the couple were still enjoying their time in Utah, and made a stop at Mystic Hot Springs, as well as Canyonlands National Park. The Utah trip continued, as Brian and Gabby visited Mesa Arch for some pictures on the 31st July. Before we move on to August, it should be noted, that Gabby started working on her blog, and YouTube video towards the end of July. We know that Brian did not motivate her, and he seemed to get frustrated with the amount of time she spent working on her blog, and social media. Moving on to August, Brian, and Gabby were in Arches National Park. It was on the 12th August, early in the morning, before 7am. Later that day, the couple were spotted in Moab, which is just about 24 minutes away. Brian and Gabby get into an altercation, and a witness calls the police. Authorities stop Brian and Gabby in their van, and question them. They were not charged, but separated for the night. Police took Brian to a motel. It is not clear what happened between the 12th and 17th August, and whether Brian and Gabby were together, or remained separated. However, on the 17th August, Brian flew back to his parents' house, in Florida, to clean out a storage locker. It is unclear what was in the storage locker, or even where it is located. During the time that Gabby was alone, she FaceTimed her dad on the 21st, and uploaded the Van Life YouTube video. There was also old photos posted on Gabby's Instagram, on the 19th August. Brian returned to Salt Lake City on the 23rd, and him and Gabby were seen leaving Fairfield Inn on the 24th. This is around the same time, that communication with Gabby's family stopped. On August 25th, would be the last time Gabby would FaceTime with her mother, Nicole Smith. She told her mother, that they were in Grand Teton National Park, before heading to Yellowstone. Two texts were sent from Gabby's phone on the 27th and 30th August, but Gabby's mother feels it was not Gabby who sent them. A woman named Nina Celia Angelo says she and her boyfriend were at the Mary Piglets, a restaurant in Jackson Hole, August 27, and spotted the couple in a blowout of a situation. Angelo says Gabby and Brian were sitting at the table next to hers. Gabby was very apologetic and emotional. The couple then left Mary Piglets, and we are not sure what happened next. However, this was the last sighting of Gabby alive. Between the 30th August and 1st September, Gabby's debit card is used by Brian. He returns to his home in Florida on the 1st September. Gabby's parents hear that Brian is back home without Gabby, and they call every member of the Laundry family to no avail. Brian gets a new phone on the 4th September, and goes on a family camping trip to Fort DeSoto on the 6th September, all while Gabby's family is wondering where she is, and what is going on. On the 10th, Gabby's family call North Poor Police, and Gabby is reported missing on the 11th September. On September 15th, Brian is named a person of interest. However, in a bizarre turn of events, Brian left home on the 13th September, and only reported missing on the 17th September by his parents. Now, on the 19th September, a family, named Red White and Buthun released a video. They claim to have seen Gabby's van on the 27th August as an isolated area. On that same day, Gabby's body was found within a five-minute walk of the van. The search ramps up for Brian Laundry, and authorities concentrate on Carlton Reserve. 
FBI retrieved Laundrie's phone and surveillance on the 29th September. Only on the 7th October, Brian's dad decided to join the search for his son. On the 12th October, it was a sad day for everyone, especially Gabby's loved ones. The cause of death was revealed by the coroner. She died of manual strangulation. Brian is still on the run, and authorities are working on locating him.